Makers, makers, we are into it. We are into it. We are officially into the fall and the spooky season, at least over here at Jabelle Sheet. You guys, I am so excited to create some new Tumblr tutorials for the fall and the Halloween season. You guys, I just cannot wait. I cannot wait. I have the most amazing vinyl that I got from these awesome, awesome vendors and you guys, I am just so excited to bring these Tumblr tutorials to, to you. So for today's video, I'm going to be kicking off a fall Tumblr tutorial. And you guys, I really, really hope you enjoy this Tumblr. I can just go on and on as to how I am excited about the fall. The fall season is just, it's just my thing. It's just my thing. It's just, I love it. I love it. So comment down below if fall is your favorite season. I know it is mine. So I definitely want to hear what you guys think about the fall season. It just gives me all the cozy vibes and it's just my favorite, favorite time of the year. So once again, makers, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. And if you like this video, after seeing this awesome Tumblr tutorial that I have planned for you, please give this video a thumbs up as well. So I think that's enough for me. Let's get into it. Let's get into creating this awesome fall Tumblr. Let's go. Art maker, so let's go ahead and get started. So here I have a fully prepped and sanded tumbler. This is a 30 ounce skinny with a handle. I believe this is from Craft Haven. I will definitely link that shop below. So this is my first time using a, a tumbler with a handle on my channel and I'm really excited to do this, um, do a handle tumbler tutorial on my channel here. All right, so the glitter we're gonna be using is called Platinum Blonde. This is by Girl Boss Glitters. I believe this shop has has come back in business, but I would definitely link it below if it has. So I, since I'm using a silver glitter, I did not bother to paint the tumbler, of course, because everything is it's gonna match perfectly. So off camera, I have about 10 mLs of epoxy RE mix. I'm gonna go ahead and mix that, and we'll be back to apply this glitter. All right, maker, so I have the epoxy applied. So since we are working with a handle, you do not want to apply a very thin layer of epoxy because you don't want any pooling or anything around the handle. So um, I am using a fast set, so we have to work fast. So now I'm gonna go in and apply just a thin layer of this glitter. To the entire tumbler. It's so pretty. And I did go inside the handle. Just make sure you cover every aspect of the handle with the epoxy. All right, makers, so you know the drill. So now that we have our glitter applied, we're just gonna go through with some parchment paper and we're just gonna make sure this glitter is nice and flat. That's why I love using the epoxy method because it just, I don't know, it just gets me the best coverage with my glitter. And I'm able to just press that glitter nice and flat before applying the first coats of epoxy. All right, so when I get around the handle, I'm just gonna take the parchment paper and just press everything flat. Go inside, top of the handle, inside of the handle.
So I just started using my fingers because I can just kind of get in there better and maneuver it. Maker. So off camera, I went ahead and just um, just made sure everything was still nice and flat. Removed the tape at the top and the bottom. So since I am using a facet, I am going to let this dry at least for an hour, and then I'm gonna go in with one thin coat of epoxy. So keep in mind when you're applying your epoxy, do not apply so much because it will pull around the handles. Um, so I definitely will show you that you guys that process. So you want to apply the epoxy in thin layers so it does not pull around the handles. All right, makers, so here we are with our first coat of epoxy. As you can see, it is a very thin layer. You do not want any pulling around that handle. So if you have to do another layer before you start doing your decals, that's just what you have to do. But you want a very thin layer so you don't get any pulling around that handle. Alright maker, so here we are. I did apply one thin coat of epoxy as you saw so that I wouldn't get any pulling at the top and the bottom. So here we are. I did dip a light sand and cleaned it and just make sure everything was nice and smooth. So this is going to be a peekaboo tumbler. And you guys, I have chosen these really, really pretty fall leaves to go with this design and I'm just really excited to do this process. All right, so I really struggle about what colors to use for this tumbler, and I think I made my mind up. I'm gonna go with a almond and a nut bag. These are both by Rosaline. I just really think that this is gonna pair really well with the decals that we're gonna use, and just kind of giving it a subtle, just try to enter fall really subtle, and I just think this tumbler is gonna speak volumes to that. So. Of course, it's really windy here. I think I'm going to do a ombre. I'm going to do the almond in the middle and just give it little dust of the nutmeg from the top and the bottom. So that's what I'm going to do. So in the meantime, I am going to let you guys see me apply these leaves in a time lapse. And then I'm going to go straight into giving this a ombre portion to go into the peekaboo portion. All right, let's go. maker so I don't know if you can see from the time lapse but I just did just take my time and just make sure that I got everything nice and covered my goal was to get as many of these leaves on this tumbler as possible because I just hate covering up this beautiful glitter so I just did go through and just being really thorough and just make sure everything was nice and pressed down I did I don't think I filmed this part I did just cut some decals apart and just kind of jazz up the handle just to try to give it some dimension as well so, like I said, I'm going to go outside and do the ombre portion, and we'll be back for the next steps. All right, makers, so here is how our ombre is looking so far. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I did let this dry overnight, so now we're going to go into the next step. So, I wanted to add a little bit um, sparkle to this tumbler. So, I'm going to go on with Tyke It over and over. I'm probably going to mix half and half with some water so it just won't be so tacky and don't take so long to dry. And then I'm going to go on with True Lies and then do the Tyke It method by brushing it on with my thumb. So, off camera, I'm going to go ahead and get some of this mixed up and I'm going to go back and show you how I apply it. And then we're going to go into applying this beautiful glitter by Trace Chase Ray Glitters called True Lies. Art maker. So now I have a little of this Tyket mixed up in a medicine cup. So I have a brush here. So I'm just going to lightly just brush some over just the whole entire tumbler. Just a light coat. All 
I don't know if you noticed, but then I, I did manage to get some decals under the handle. So I'm really happy with how, how that turned out. So I did let this tack it dry about 30 minutes under my little um, fan. So now we're going to get ready to apply this glitter. This is really pretty glitter. It's like a translucent or opal and it shows everything that's underneath. So I'm really excited to use this glitter. All right. So the tack it is good and tacky. Just going to sprinkle some of this on. All right, bump off the excess. So now we can begin burnishing this glitter into the tumbler. Y'all, look at that shine it's giving it. Oh my God, it's so pretty. All right, so I think I'm gonna put on gloves because I saw someone do this before. <laughs> and it's a lot faster. Yeah. Art makers, so now that we have all of our this beautiful glitter that we rubbed on using the tacket method, we're gonna go ahead and start removing these decals. So it is going to take me a minute. I did start just removing a couple. Y'all, it is so pretty. I am so excited about this process. All right, so I'm going to put you guys on a time lapse. So sit back and enjoy while I remove all of these decals. It's going to take a minute. Art makers, this shot is like blinding the camera. So oh, I am going to let this dry public for a couple minutes. Y'all, look at those decals. They are just coming through. They're coming through. They're so pretty. All right, so I am going to let this dry for about 30 minutes. I'm going to apply one thin coat of epoxy, and we'll be back to apply the other set of decals. Art makers, let's get into the decal process, which is my favorite part. So I get, did give this a good coat of epoxy just to make sure everything was nice and sealed. And I'm really happy with the progress so far. So y'all, I have this very beautiful sheet of like fall florals. And this is from Gracefully Created. And I'm so excited to get to use these. So these florals have like a clear, the outer edges are clear, but of course, you know, the detail is a white background, so you can apply it on any type of surface. So I'm just gonna take my time and a lot of you guys to watch me, and I'm just gonna try to fill in some of these empty spaces and just make it really pretty. 
Iron Makers, I did want to mention before I started applying these decals, you do have to cut them apart. So you want to make sure you're cutting off all of that excess clear part. So you won't have so much of this, you know, clear all over your tumbler. So I'm just going to take these decals and just place them where I think they look best. Alright makers, so I don't know if you can see from the time lapse, I did have some overlap at the top, so I just had to cut those decals the way I wanted them, and then of course use my exacto knife just to cut off the overlap, which I did off camera. So basically what I've done off camera is just go through and just make sure everything was nice and flat. I didn't have any creases or anything at the top and the bottom, so everything is good to go. Off camera, I did add some detail around the handle just, just to try to bring everything together, and I just think it looks amazing. So. To ensure that everything stays down before I do my first epoxy coat, I am going to go through this and add a, coat, a quick coat by CCDIY and add probably one to two thin coats of epoxy and we'll be on to finishing up our first fall tumbler. Makers, here is the finished tumbler. I am so proud of how this tumbler turned out. I just love all of the rich tones and the depth. If you have any questions on any part of this tumbler tutorial, please list those questions below and I will get back to you shortly. Makers, I did not forget about the quote for today's video. The quote is, there is always something to be thankful for. I'm reminded of those very words each and every day. Makers, I hope that you find inspiration in this quote as well. Once again, makers, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave me a thumbs up. It really helps my channel out. Also, click that notification bell so that you won't miss out on any of my future content. Until then, makers, you all stay blessed and most of all, continue creating.